I'm a big uh, sports buff. Mm, uh, so Warriors big. and 49ers. Oh, nice. Uh, as the main ones. I also follow soccer a little bit. I like traveling as well. Um, exploring new places and new cuisine. So where are you going to? Thanksgiving time. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Sa, for uh, being on Tech Talk. Really, really appreciate your time. I found that the GPO Compute, NVIDIA, and AMD, they are lower the cost by almost 80%. It's a kind of uh, democratizing of uh, the cloud services. We are going with customers who are not dealing with a lot of IT sprog. These are customers who have gone in the cloud. They have you know, quote unquote, modern IT systems. And so the surface area of what you have to address is smaller. In the case of the GPUs, you can't have AI just be with a few large companies. Exactly. And cost is a very big factor in that. Quarter one of 2025, you have launched close to 50 features, right? And they are all driven for the customers to make this ecosystem much more stronger. We have been working a lot on storage. The quality of storage you have, that is important. We just announced archival forms of storage that reduce the cost dramatically and give you really good egress fees. And then, of course, you know, we launched the Gradient AI platform that helps you build agents end to end. We already have, I think, close to 20,000 agents that have been built on it. Partnering with the open ecosystem, for example, Hugging Fei or uh, Autogen or Langchang, it's already integrated. Langchang yeah. is already Lang integrated, but yeah, I would like to know from you. The only way you can ship compelling products and ship them fast is to partner with people. I think it's one of our strengths so that we can get the products out quickly. The first thing customers see is the pricing and how complex is that? How many people need to be involved in that, right? So I think these are the couple of factors which are very, very important. There's a chart that I have. I actually showed it in the investor day where you, know, you look at our pricing and you compare it with someone else's pricing and you see we are an auto friend which is simpler. And so you don't need that. Deal if you so you do not need FinOps. You do not need cloud ops anyway. you can substantially reduce all of those teams and that is you, where the lower tco comes in because yeah. you know it's not just that infrastructure cost is lower it's that your operational cost is much lower those who are already using hyperscaler how easy is for enterprise to move from the legacy you know hyperscalers to digital ocean it's not a few clicks but it's not very hard we have had dozens of customers move now PyCap is one of them bid is one of them uh, we talked quite a few about them in Deploy. Each one of them have been getting 30, 40, 50 percent in reduction. When you're trying to scale in terms of business overall, your team needs to be scaled. Top talent is retained and working across with you. I use kind of three words. I call them winning, growing and caring. And those are the three pillars. You were saying that anybody can copy, but isn't there a thread that any other company or organization can just replicate same thing? Let's say you're using the cloud today. You don't just use one service. You come in, you have to discover the service, you have the security role. And if those things are complex, then it's very hard. And I think that the fact that we started there and we got it right there is a real durable future. What is the vision for uh, DigitalOcean for next three to five years? We are going to continue to move up market towards digital native customers. The second vector is just building out our AI capabilities. People want to do useful work. That's then, where Gradient that's AI, AI is launched. And then the third thing that we're looking at is the DO next. So the CT or the leaders of the organization, those who are starting new.